What is going on guys, my name is Matthew, and now that I'm finally out the shower and awake and ready to talk, I'm gonna be giving you guys my apartment tour, my new apartment that I just moved into this weekend. This is why the video for Friday wasn't up on time. So this is where my bed is. It's just a regular bed, nothing here. Internet, a window that's very secluded. I have no neighbors looking this way, only that way, so. It's great stuff. My speakers and my desk. It's kind of empty in here. It's kind of empty in here because I really don't have much because I do have to move every year. So until I do like buy a house where I just stay there for a while, I'm probably not gonna buy a lot of furniture. This is just like the bare essentials from what I use all the time. I really don't need anything fancy. I don't need, you know, those fake plants to liven up the area. I don't need, you know, lamps or extra couches or whatever. It's just what I use on a daily basis. So that's why my, my apartment just is kind of, you know, bare. It's just what I use. And then right here is gonna be my closet. It's a nice big closet. Plenty of space to put things up and stuff like that. And then this is the bathroom. Hey, it's me. Nice big tub. Actually a huge tub, it's so big that I can put an extra towel in there. So I can just grab that towel instead of reaching for mine. It's pretty cool. Dining room, very simple, just table and chairs. Over here is the front door. Simple door. And then the front closet where I clean the vacuum, brooms and Swiffer and all that stuff. And this is my laundry room. It's a laundry room, there's not much to it. And this is my kitchen. This is where I meal prep, this is where I get everything done. This is where 70% of your work comes from. So, simple countertop, not much to it. My fridge, simple fridge. Oh, and a lot of you always say that I have nothing in my fridge. It's because it's true. I keep nothing in my fridge so I don't snack on anything. The only thing I snack on right now is in my pantry. With these wellness tortillas, Tony, dude, these are sick. Oh, there it goes. It is 50 calories and four total carbs after the fiber comes in. It's amazing. But my pantry, and then that's that. And then the living room. Once again, very minimalistic style. My recliners, my TV. It's where I pay play Warzone with the boys, my dog, Roxy, her cage, I don't know where to put her cage, I'll just put it there, um, come out here on the balcony, and I have a nice view of the water, it's screened in, so I don't get bugs, that's pretty cool, now that I'm in my new apartment, I'm going to be taking my diet very seriously, just because of the fact that I no longer have any kind of uh, have to worry about moving, putting all my stuff away. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be eating the next couple of weeks, months exactly, and my diet pretty much. So once again, my diet is very simple. Four eggs in the morning, four egg whites, uh, oatmeal with protein powder, and two pieces of turkey bacon. So over here, boom, egg tray. Who does that? I do. And then turkey bacon for the morning. Come over here, oatmeal, protein powder. That's it, that's, that's breakfast. That's how you, until you lose weight, 400 calories, you're full forever, and it's good stuff. The oatmeal is only half a cup dry, so when you make it, it's bigger. It's just a one serving worth of oatmeal. Uh, for like lunch and dinner, a lot of people don't do what I do just because of the salt factor that I just repeat the same thing every single day. I don't like, having to have variety or whatever. I just try to make the same thing taste different or taste better. So what I mean by that is, I literally only eat either chicken or ground turkey. That's all I eat for protein. And some people say, I can't eat the same thing every single day. I need more variety. If you need more variety, then, you're not, then you don't want it enough. You need to be able to stay eat what's best for you and that's it. You can add in other veggies. You don't have to go overboard with it. Just keep it simple, man, super simple. Nothing but frozen veggies, 
ground turkey, ground chicken. Boom. Probably gonna make this one because I had chicken last week. If you don't believe me. Here's what like and my average meal prep looks like. This is today's lunch. It's literally one chicken breast and uh, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, onions, and jalapenos. And that's it. Put a little barbecue sauce in there, some G Hughes, a little bit of uh, this bad boy right here, sugar-free barbecue sauce. Look at the macros, they're insane, right? Put that here, it tastes amazing, it's good stuff. However, now if you were like me and you would rather snack versus eat, what I mean by that is I'd rather have an entire bag of family-sized Doritos than eat a four-course meal. I, I, I'd rather would because I like snacking way more than I do eating. I, I, eating a meal, I should say. So this is what I have whenever I do want a snack, if you will. You already know, it's the wellness tortillas. If I want us a light snack or light meal, soup. 150 calories per can. You have all kinds. I always keep soup on my pantry just in case that I am hungry and I'm already close to my calories. So if I need to go a little bit over, it's okay, but I can just have a can of soup and it's just liquid half the time. So uh, another thing that I eat is tuna. Make tuna fish, man. Tuna, some mayonnaise, some relish, a little bit of hot sauce, boom, fini. That's it. And that's it. And that's really all I eat on my diet, and a lot of people overthink it. The way you diet is just simple, simply calories in, calories out. That's all you gotta do. So say, for example, your maintenance average of calories is about 1,800 to like 2,000 calories, right? Have a slight deficit of like 1,600 to 1,700 calories and you'll lose weight just from that. That's it. You could lose weight literally just by dieting and a lot of people don't understand that. They think, oh, I gotta work out and I hate working out. I don't wanna run, I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna eat right and lose weight. You can. Just don't expect progress for a, for a long period of time because it takes your body a minute to really start showing progress. I didn't really start seeing progress till about like, the month, two months in, just because of the fact that it takes time for your body to get used to it. If you saw the pictures of when I first started back in October versus now, my stomach has shrank immensely. And that's just over, what, what is that, four months? A lot of people overthink diet. They think diet and they get scared because you gotta work out, you gotta do more. It's just, if you simply wanna lose weight and you're a beginner at trying to lose weight, just eat right. So say, your maintenance calories for the day is about anywhere from 18 to 2,000 calories. All you gotta do is eat in a deficit of like 200 to 300 calories and you'll lose weight just by eating, which is crazy, but nobody wants to do it because they don't see progress quickly enough. If you want the progress quickly, there is no answer to it. It took me about two months to really start seeing actual progress. I mean, yeah, I noticed little things where, where my chin came out more or my face looked skinnier or you know, my, my shirts are getting a little baggier, you know, and that's great progress. But if you wanna see realistic progress, you have to stay with it for about two to three months at a time. And from beginning when I started in October versus now, my stomach has shrank immensely. I will put a side-by-side -side comparison right here just to prove it to you guys. It takes time, and that's what a lot of people aren't willing to give is time. Now, dedication is also another big thing, but don't let it scare you. I eat terrible meals all the time, believe it or not. I, I made a post about my Skittles, how I had those Skittles for dinner, and it was a Skittles, a protein bar, and an energy drink, and I was perfectly fine. I woke up actually and lost weight the next day. Uh, I went out and got pizza the other day. I think I was like, at one point this weekend when we were moving, I was 214 pounds, just because I, I ate so much. Every time I'm around family, I eat a lot. It's just, it's in my nature, and you see why I gain weight so quickly, just because I eat a lot when I'm around family. But I'm already back at 206, and it's Friday and I didn't work out until Thursday, and they left Tuesday. It's just a matter of eating less and take your time. It's not, a, it's not a race, there is no magic pill, there is no magic workout that instantly makes your butt bigger, makes your biceps bigger, it's just time and dedication. That's all it is. Once you start getting in the groove of things, your body will actually start helping you, so when you do have a bad meal, it just gets rid of it. It's like the calories just gone, poof, gone. 
It's great. It's a crazy thing that it happens. If you guys aren't willing to put in the time and effort and be dedicated to this kind of stuff, you're not going to see any progress. And I see it all the time. People saying, I've been eating clean and working out so hard for the past two months and I haven't lost a single pound. You're probably not perfect. Because even if you were eating like crap and you just kept working out consistently and having good workouts, like legitimate workouts, you'd be fine. You would lose weight too. So my recommendation is to open my fitness pal and set a goal for 1800 calories, 1600 calories, whatever your deficit needs to be and just shoot for that. Fill in all the food you eat, every single thing, anything that enters your mouth, put it in there. And that's gonna be my weekly update. I really don't have much to say just because of the sole factor that I didn't really work out this week. I had one workout in, I'm gonna go after I eat breakfast today, I'm gonna do some legs because I've recently fallen in love with legs. I don't know what it is, but I like it. And that's gonna be it. Like I said, I don't really have much to say. My diet is still the same, my workouts are still the same. All I think is, I'm in a new part of town, and that's it. So if you guys have any questions, if you guys need help with anything fitness related or whatever the case may be, shoot me a message. I leave my Snapchat, my Instagram, share my comments, and I'll just get back to you like that. And I'm always here to help you guys if you guys need help with anything. My name is Matthew. I'm currently on a fitness goal to lose weight. Uh, I've done it before, I'll do it again. My goal is to be 185 before June, the beginning of June. And currently at 206, I was 205 last week. That's fine, I just pound off. 206, so it's currently within reach, it's only 20 pounds, and I have a couple months to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Always remember, keep running towards the dream. You never know what'll happen. Peace.